Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Sekiro. In this episode of Sekiro, we're going to be continuing where we last left off, here in Ashina Castle. This should be an interesting area to get through. I kind of like the exterior look of it, so I'm going to be interested in how the interior plays out. We got through it okay in the end. That last bit with the rooftops and those crow ninja star throwing exploding assholes was kind of tough, but hey, we got through it in the end, didn't we? So yeah, let's get going here in Sekiro. Now, obviously, uh, from what I've heard, Ashina Castle is one of the first tougher areas in the game, so we're gonna be kind of trying to figure out what we can do here. And also, it's gonna be important to try out some of the new weapons that From has added to the game. You know, they said that they weren't gonna add any new weapons or any additional weapons. It's just gonna be you and your katana. But it looks like they did add a couple of new ones. Some very interesting uh, projectile-based weapons. Also, as you can see, the look of the game has changed quite a bit. So yeah, it still looks great. And still keeping the classic From aesthetic as all's, all Souls-like and Souls games do. So yeah, let's just see if we can find one of the newer weapons as we use our brand new ninja tool, the glider, to get in here. I like the combination of the glider and the grappling hook here. They really did a great job. All right. Looks like no enemies nearby. And I did manage to get one of the newer weapons, but this is one of the... Well, it's not exactly the best new weapon they added. This one is kind of shitty, but hey. We can make it work, can't we? Slowly but surely. Alright, there's a weapon spawner here. That's another new addition. I'm gonna be trying to find that. But first, let's just explore our surroundings a bit. Let's see if we can get something to kind of make make things a little bit... Okay, this is one of the better new weapons, I gotta admit. So, I kind of got lucky with this one. Alright, see, it's not all bad, not all bad. Even though the new weapons are kind of randomized... It's all good in the end. All right. I don't know if there are any enemies nearby. It doesn't... Well, we might have someone. You know, with the new PvP aspect, it is difficult to tell. You know, they said they weren't going to add PvP, but... I guess From changed their mind, and that's okay. I was always one who kind of enjoyed PvP in Souls games. Despite, you know, all the faults they have. Alright, that enemy was not the most difficult one in the world. In fact, I did not play my best there, I will fully admit that. But it has been a while since I've PvP'd in this game. Actually, we will not keep that weapon. Yeah, I'm not playing my best, but hey, it's okay. The only thing that matters is to get the W. In the end, God, I'm talking like a Fortnite player getting the W. What a shitty thing to say. This is Sekiro PvP. Much more sophisticated, you know, as all Souls PvP is since the very early days. Souls has been the pinnacle of PvP. Alright, let me just reload my... 
I almost said Hunter Tools, but that's Bloodborne. Uh, my Shinobi prosthetic. And then we got a little bit of a track to make. Alright, finally. Man, I'm getting all the weird new weapons. These are all the obscure ones, the ones that no one uses. But hey, sometimes you gotta work with what you've got. This is the one I would really like to get rid of and switch it to a proper new crossbow. Cool. Anyways, gotta load up and we can get going. They really did make a lot of changes to this game. At the last patch, not everybody was happy about, you know, they accused people of spitting the, splitting the player base. God, I can't even talk. You know, Sekiro PvP takes a lot of concentration. And hey, so far, we've done okay. But really, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with this new PvP mode. A lot of people seem to be liking it. Again, even though this last patch was controversial, to say the least. So, yeah. It has been a while since I've touched this game mode. I will be honest, Mortal Kombat 11's beta took, a, took up a lot of my time, which, you know, there's still going to be a review on. I'm still planning on making a full review for that, because that game is interesting, I'll say that much. And I am looking forward to playing it. Good old Moron Kombat, who doesn't like it? But man, I gotta admit, I'll still hold on to my opinion that no other fighting game has that many like rage quitters and hate message sending idiots and you know just the shittiest people you can think of as Mortal Kombat. It probably is the well the reason for that is probably because it has such a huge casual fan base MK. All right. I think we're going to switch out our weapons a little bit. This one is far superior, even though it looks worse. Believe me, it is superior. But I'm still going to explore. It looks like this place was already raided by the pro PvPers, you know, all the level threes in the Covenant. So we got to kind of mind our step. In fact, we are going to take this weapon. Maybe they did not raid this place. It's worth a look. It is worth a look. If not, we can farm a little bit. We are inside the save zone, so it really doesn't matter how much time you spend here. In fact, I will be grabbing these. This is an item that, you know, when they introduced PvP, this item was less useful because, well, you got health on kills, but as I mentioned, the controversial change removed that, so now you gotta scavenge for resources like all the rest of the idiots. Okay, still okay, and one thing I was afraid of is that there would be like a long run. It would put the PvP zone too far away. It gets really annoying when the game does that. Are they shooting at us? One thing I will admit is I have my TV turned down like a bitch so there is no echo. So it's very possible that I will miss the sound cues which are Fairly important for Sekiro PvP. Sound cues. But hey. Even if we die, it's not going to be the end of the world. We got a pretty good episode out of it. And that's all that matters. It looks like they weren't targeting us. And that's okay. There's a vehicle there. Another new addition. Well, we don't have to travel far, luckily. 
all right this is new sculptor idol we will be taking that just to reposition ourselves you know it, it allows for a good reposition opportunity not going to be taking too many unnecessary risks but i'm also not going to be avoiding confrontation that's for sure on oh, the helicopter new addition as well the lore masters are really going crazy regarding this helicopter who knows what will happen with this thing it's interesting for sure vati please confirm he probably knows about this bitch ass helicopter that's for sure Strange addition to Sekiro, but hey. From does what from wants. Okay, let me just go ahead and try try finding someone interesting to fight. Because it's been too long. Just been running around like an idiot. Well, flying technically this time around. But you know what I mean. It's not that many people left. And I fought some absolute bots at the start. You know, to use the Fortnite terminology that people like a lot. I think that was someone, right? Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Looks like there's some conflict going on here. Sniper. Snipers are kind of a problem. If I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. Let's tag him. Use our shield. Block mechanic, I mean. Alright. Tagged him a couple of times. Now it might be worth going in for the... Oh, is he already... Wait. That might be a problem. Because I sure shit didn't kill him. Aha. Another player. No weapons. Oh, wait. He did have weapons. Strange. What a strange gameplay choice. People are weird in this version of Sekiro. Somebody's shooting at me. So let's block up. Oh shit. It's okay, stay cool. Use all your FPS knowledge. Whoa! It's an interesting choice to make. Hey. I don't dislike it. I will say that much. I don't entirely hate that choice. Allowing us both to reposition. Again, it has been a while since I've played this game. So, if I don't exactly perform optimally... You know, you're going to have to excuse me. He's here somewhere. Looks like he has the new glider item. It's a pretty good item. I'm mindful of my surroundings. Man, it has been a while since I've played Sekiro PvP. I used to be able to do a lot better, but hey. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, well. I'm not exactly going to claim victory for that. But hey, 
Oh, perfect. Just the item I'm looking for. Just as backup, you know. The question is, how did this fool die? Is there another PvP -er here? Yes, there is. Okay, we got him, we got him. And he has a really good weapon. Okay, I'm just gonna... Camp here a little bit. You know, just restock. Resupply. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm bad at this part of PvP. That's for sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna use my last resupply. And if I'm smart... Man, I don't like that sniper. He's using that cheating ass crossbow. Ah, damn it. A little bit of lag involved there as well. Damn. Well, I'm kind of mad about that, but hey. That's how Sekiro PvP is. You can't always get the win, can you? Sometimes you just gotta, you know, admit defeat. Not saying I played my best there, because I for sure didn't, but I did better than I expected to. It has been, well, about a week since I really sat down with this game. So, it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Sekiro. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Let me know what you think of this PvP mode. Happy April Fools and see you next time, guys. Goodbye.